Hey Flossie, Soldier Stitching Shannon here, crashing on Her Majesty the Queen of Starts video. It is December 31st. I hope you all have a safe new year. Is that you, Q? Yes. Hello. <laughs> I'm having a child moment who's having a bad morning. So. She didn't like that she can't throw things on the floor and got sent to her room. Yes. So. We got some stuff on tap for y'all today. We got, I have new starts. I have new starts. Um, we got some haul. We got some whips. I think that's everything. I think so. Okay. So I'm going to start with my haul. I don't have much. Most of it is back in my barracks room in almost the Texas, like we're in Florida. In San Antonio, there will be a video coming up for my channel. Oh, here we go. Can we see if we can get them to go the other way? Yeah, oh. Good. You're a good boy, s'mores. Yeah, go the other way. No, nope. no, no, don't, nope. no, 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 honey. No, no, Hold on. Oh, okay. I got this. I got this. Very large dog trying to come through. Wish, wish, wish. Can I move the piles first, Bubby? Then you can come in. Okay, problem solved. All right, he'll come in the other side, and that's is closed. Yeah, he'll still come in. Don't worry, he's not locked out of the living room. He will come in the other door. Okay, so hall. I got from Garrett Coffee Stitcher this cute little rave. Where's your camera? There it is. This cute little Ravenclaw pen. I feel like I did that last time too. <laughs> this cute little Ravenclaw pen that a uh, certain proprietor of No Name Needle Minders is going to turn into a needle minder for me. It's what I do. <laughs> and then my Christmas present from the amazing Kate. Sorry. No, you're fine. I'm sitting on my own ankle and it hurts. Oh, I can't help you there. <laughs> so we were in Stitch Niche, not yesterday, day before. And I saw the bead pack for this pattern, and I'm like, I need that. And then I sat there and stared at the price of this for like 10 minutes before Kate just yanked it out of my hand. So, well, I hadn't bought her a Christmas present yet. This yes, is my child. Mom? What? I got What's your question, honey? I, floss I know you like being in the floss tube videos. Not right now, okay? This is Athena, goddess of wisdom from Mirabilia, and I will be starting her on May 5th. Yes, I'm the meanie mommy who won't let her child be in the Floss 2 video today. The child. You've seen her many times, but the she child. is very tired. The child has been throwing stuff at the floor all day mm -hmm. and torturing she, animals. She, not today, not so much today. No. Yesterday. Okay. Yeah, she is very, very tired. So she is very grouchy. So yeah. May 5th start. <laughs> okay. That's all I got for haul. Unless y'all want to see. I mean, y'all really want to see. What'd you, what'd you buy yesterday, on Saturday? Petite treasure braid and floss. And? She bought floss. It's pretty. It's DMC. And? I don't want to see DMC. Okay. It's still haul. I got it from. God damn it, s'mores. Her dogs are toxic. Just one. Just one. <laughs> s'mores has oh. lethal gas. <laughs> I can't smell. Thank God. So. I'm just going to sniff my coffee while I use what you've got while I sniff my coffee and then I'll show off the petite treasure braid. Yeah, she's she's trying to, you know, restore smell to her nostrils. <sighs> At this so, point, I'm going to have to burn my nostrils. I swear, all he eats is dog food. He's not like sugar and eats anything and <laughs> everything, okay? He eats dog food. But he has the rankest gas. <sighs> I'm surprised he hasn't run out of whatever. Oh my god, do you think that waved it in from Hope's room? That's a possibility. That's why he hasn't run it, because he's locked in Hope's room. <laughs> okay. Whew. Okay, show your haul, because that smell is still here. Yeah, if, uh, yeah, trust me, if S'mores ever gets up and leaves the room, very bad. Because he is the laziest dog you will ever meet. So if he actually gets up and moves <sighs> voluntarily, bad. Do you have a candle? Um, maybe. Okay, let's worry about it later. Let's get this done. Well, I'm, I don't know if that still smells. It's one of those wax wa wax things. Oh, okay. Wax warmers, but I'm not sure if the wax is still good. Anyway. Okay. That's not even mine. 
That's a, that, I'm turning those into minders for Garrett, too. Really? Those are for Garrett? I definitely could not tell. No, you couldn't tell. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm sure he showed this in his video when he got it. Probably. I'm a little behind on floss, too. But yes, Garrett got those. These are not mine. No one could tell that those were for Coffee Stitcher. No, but I'm turning those into minders for him. Actually, that's not true. I require more coffee. <laughs> um, we just made a fresh pot. Ah, that's good. This little one right here. That one's mine. <laughs> He's giving me that one. So, and, um, where's my Ravenclaw pin? Right here. Oh, it ran away. Ran away! See, I got a Ravenclaw pin, too. If you have not seen Coffee Stitcher's videos, he posted a new one yesterday. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but he is in Hufflepuff, and he has gone down the Hufflepuff Etsy rabbit hole. I tried to pull him out. Kate put him in further. It's about normal. Yep. And and we're both Ravenclaws. Now, now Garrett ended up in Gryffindor for the Harry Potter stitching challenge. I ended up in Slytherin. And I'm actually in Ravenclaw. Hmm. Hey. It helps to bribe the I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Now we know what you do in your free time. I did not totally bribe the judges. Here. What we are discussing is the Harry Potter reading and... Mm -hmm. That's Garrett's. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The Harry Potter reading and stitching group. Uh, basically, they sort you and give you different challenges. It's sort of like Stitch What's, but it's not. But yeah, I'm in Slytherin, which is fine, because, you know, if the hat would have stalled, putting me in Slytherin or Ravenclaw. That's true. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, you're good. Like, our videos ever make any kind of sense? Maybe one day they will? No. Yeah, true. Never. <laughs> They're always random, wild, crazy. That might have been Oreo, actually. Kind of smells like cat litter. Could have been. I love how you sniff like you're actually going to be <laughs> able to <laughs> smell. I try. <laughs> I try. <laughs> You know, almost <laughs> 39 years later, I still can't smell, but you never know. Maybe one day. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Anyway, um, no, these are my last two minders from uh, Brenda's, at Brenda's Minders and More, from my um, Minder of the Month Club. Uh, Shiny Suns was having their 50% off sale, so I got... Oh my god, it's so cute. One of my dragons. I love her dragons. Me so cute. I remember something I got, but... This hmm. was my Christmas gift from Garrett. This, no days. this apparently has a, a thread that is not only impossible to find, but impossible to work with. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's called Arctic Rays. Arctic Rays, yes. And I'm really hoping that I have enough between... I have one skein, so hopefully that'll be enough for this and... Um, little snowy blue cottage because that's what I bought it for. Okay. So anyway, this is retired. So, um, is it really? It is. It just retired. Oh, okay. So Garrett called Stitch Niche and pulled it and pulled the last one there. So I looked it up and found it on Stony Creek and I was debating buying it. He's like, well, no, get it. That'll be my Christmas gift yeah. from you, from me, for you. <laughs> yes. I can't English either. And these little pins are Hocus Pocus pins. Well, they were pins. Now they're minders. Those came from Garrett. And I got a Harry Potter project bag. Garrett snatched that from me. And that's from Delicious Threads. Oh, that's good to know. And she was having a sale and I claimed it. But Garrett had claimed it like two seconds before I had. And it was the last one. And he's like, he messaged me. I'm like, I feel so bad, but that's for, this is going to be Kate's birthday or Christmas present. I feel really bad because I snatched it from you. I'm like, dude, she's going to love it. Could have been birthday present. I got the chart for Christmas. So this, this can count as my birthday. But it's so cool. <laughs> and see, I need, I need something for my focus piece for Harry Potter. All right. This was from Shannon. Look, they're so cute. The little needle workshop. Did the other dog not come in when Smith came both, in? They both came in. Does he want to go back out? Probably. My dogs live on the wrong side of the door. Doesn't matter what side of the door they're on. It's the wrong side. Nope. She did not come in. <sighs> come on. 
Sugar, you missed the boat, honey. You're supposed to come in when S'mores comes in. That was my bad. The gate is closed. Go around to the door. I love my animals. Here you go. Circular room, honey. I has me Shoulder. a marshmallow. I has me a marshmallow. Oh, 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 don't. hi. You're okay. You're okay. You saw a giant dog head. I has me a marshmallow. I has me a marshmallow. Hi, sugar. Marshmallow is not happy with this arrangement. No, she's rather freaked out. It's pretty cool. Okay. But she's purring. Anyway. Pick this up at Stitch Niche. Oops, shiny. Oh well. It's um it's the Four Seasons by Prairie Schooler. Yes, it is the reprint, but I I don't care. Yeah. If you do, that's fine. If you if you prefer the cardstock version, I don't care. So I was happy to get that. <gasps> um retract the claws cat right in the oh put 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 the claws away, Missy. <laughs> And then right in um, a soft spot of my mm, elbow. Um, 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 silver needle. There it is. Silver needle was having a sale on Lizzie Kate, fifty percent off. So it's on Sunshine Lane. I saw that. Yeah. I saw. I saw, but I had already gotten what I wanted, so I was good. Yeah, I and I was very good. I bought three charts, but I bought the ones that were kits originally, and they were selling them as charts only. So that made me happy. Because I got ABCs of Parenting. It does come with a DMC. But... I think um, the same too. Yeah, this is a DMC. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does call for some DMC. Um, but yeah, so I got ABCs of Parenting. This one is freaked out. She seems quite content now. <gasps> at our house. And I got the whip that disappeared. Never mm -hmm. to be seen again. I got the chart back. So ABC's of Faith. Now technically I have the floss for this. Because I have it from the last time I bought it. It's the black hole of, yeah. of City. Okay. Anyway, okay. that's all my haul. You're going to go up on the couch because your claws don't belong in my bicep. Okay. Just so, happy to have claimed the chair. I just remembered something. I got from Delicious Threads. <laughs> this is one of them. I got the entire set. This is the Winter Birds. So I've got this one i've got the smaller one and then i've got the one with vinyl on the front and this is being held for one of my whips right now so it's so pretty i don't know what that was but we're gonna go with it okay what you got next there's not the public bathhouse sweetheart <laughs> we're just gonna scooch a little closer protect her dignity <laughs> she doesn't care nope okay so what you got next um whips or starts Let's do starts. Okay. All right, starts. I have more. I don't know. You've started an awful lot in the last couple days. So. I've only started like three or four per day. No, total, because yesterday was three, and the day before was only one. I thought it was two. Mm -hmm. No. Some other moon. I did start something else. What did I start? Okay, you do that. You and think. I'm going to come over here and do that. Because I'm pretty sure she started like a couple things on each day that she's been here. All right, so. I backed up to Christmas. Um, ah, I'm good. Got it. Maybe. Did you find it? Yep. Uh, da, da. I have a picture for one of them. I don't have a picture for the other one. Alright, this is Queen of Hearts from Hi. Mrs. Pegotti on uh, Etsy. And I'm stitching her on 18 count. Oatmeal Ada. I don't want to know. Nope. The evil laughter coming from my child's bedroom. What she's doing. Nope. Alright, so. Isn't it the most beautiful line you ever saw? It's so party. But hey, that is the width of the chart. There you I, go. It was one line that went from left to right. Across the top. Um... And I have two minders on it. This little queen of hearts came from the Everyday Stitcher. And this little queen of hearts <laughs> came from... Let me check the magnet. Somewhere. Nifty Needle Nannies. <laughs> Had to think. Okay. Had to think. So that was 
Well, you can do one and I'll do one. But I have set, I have Christmas, so that was two. Okay, so do, I'll do one more. And oh, then no, I just I found some hull that I forgot about. Oh, okay. <laughs> she found hull that she forgot about. The other one's on the frame. And I don't have a picture for this one. But this is, sorry. You're good. This is Haunted Mansion from New York Needleworks. It's like the Haunted Mansion poster mm. for the ride. So, and there he is. is. Can you not be on my phone? Right? Okay. The cat's bathing herself on the phone. All right, I have one. Okay, it's very similar to that needle minder right there from the Everyday Stitcher. I also have this one here with the four portraits from the actual, from inside the Haunted Mansion. And that one came from Ness's Needle Minders. So I put this one on my lap frame because this is my um, focus. It's my focus whip for um, Full Coverage Fanatics. They're quarterly, uh, they're quarterly, stitch along, stitch along, thank you, coffee. They're quarterly stitch along where you work on the piece every day. Doesn't matter how much, but every day starts tomorrow, runs through the end of May, March, end of March. I know what 90 day is. Um, end of March, so I'm putting it there so it's it's in my face. Okay. Some haul that I forgot. Because, you know, God forbid I'm actually organized. Last time I went to Stitch Nation May, I picked this up. This is the coffee house from Nora Corbett, part of the Holiday Village. And I'm slowly kidding this up. And we found the perfect fabric while we were there. This is hand-painted specialty fabrics. Smoke. Snow Squall from Cross Winged Collections. Yes, and I don't know what count it is. But it's just pretty. But it is. It's got like that kind of snowy. And up here it's got little snow dots and whatnot. I'm sure if it I ask. If you ever in your favor for stitching on linen. I know. We all know I love linen. Child. Was that sarcastic? I'm sure if I were to ask Garrett, he would be able to figure out the count on this. There are so many people who love linen. And that's I'm not wonderful. one of them. I'm not one of them. I child. Am. Yes, my child. We're making it. You yeah, we're watch making it. it. You, we're making it. Well, you, you can watch it as soon as we put it up, okay? Okay. Can you see it? It's not done yet, baby. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have my plus. YouTube on my tablet in my room. Then go to your. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> new star. This this might go very badly. We'll we'll see how this goes. If a very odd video pops up on my channel, <laughs> enjoy it before I take it down because that's the child posting her game videos to my channel. Okay, so new starts the twenty ninth. That was a fun day. Uh, I got off from the plane on the 28th around 14.30. Uh, I got to my room about 15.30. Did what English, I need. English. 2.30 p.m. Got back to my room around 3.30 p.m. Thank you, Kate. And I, you know, kind of puttered around my room and then I tried to lay down for a nap, but my bus to here left at like 5.20 in the morning and I was going to have to call a cab and whatnot. So I lay down around 5.00. To try and take a nap, couldn't sleep. Ow. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just stay up. No big deal. Not the first time I've done it. I'm in the military. I'll just sleep on the bus. Well, I did. And I got a couple hours on the bus before the zombie virus that was the person behind me woke me up, coughing for like three hours straight without covering his mouth. And then, you know, the people directly next to him were having the world's loudest video call. Don't mind me, I'm torturing the cat. <laughs> uh, loudest video call ever. So, you know, there went sleep, but I got, I got a couple hours and we went straight from the bus station to Stitch Niche. Tell the bus station story. <laughs> the Waxahachie. 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 She didn't come into Dallas this time because I can't drive to Dallas, but she came into Waxahachie, which is south of us. So... Waxahachie is a very small, not very small, but it's a small town. So the bus, I have my headphones on, so we stop, and the bus driver gets on the mic and goes, this is Waxahachie, this is a bus stop for Waxahachie. I'm like, okay, cool. And I get out, and I'm at a gas station. There's no Greyhound sign. 
there's no like, hey, this is a bus stop. No, it's a gas station. And there are cornfields on all sides. And I'm looking around and... Or cotton fields. Could be cotton fields. There's, there's cotton in Wax There's fields of some kind. <laughs> Everywhere. And I'm looking around, I'm like... It's a farming community. I'm looking around, I'm like, this is how I get killed. <laughs> I'm going to get shivved. Children of the corn are In coming. a gas station. <laughs> in Waka Hayashua. And I'm texting Kate and Garrett, who are... We have a group chat that we call the council because... We are the stitching council. Anytime any one of us needs help, we go to each other. But I post in there, I'm like, so this is a gas station, not a bus stop. <laughs> and Kira goes, yeah, that sounds about right. And I'm like, it's Waxahachie. I'm like, I'm going to get killed here. Someone is going to shank me in a gas station in South Texas. And Kate's like, no, it's, it's not Dallas. She'll be fine. I'm like, it's not even a bus stop. <laughs> So yeah, she had a nice laugh out of that. I am still having a good laugh. <laughs> so Stitch Niche. Yeah, we, we went to Stitch Niche. I kitted up Pumpkinville. I'm so excited for Pumpkinville. The only Yay, thing I'm missing is like the glow in the dark petite treasure braid, which I need to make a one, two, three stitch order any need to make a one, two, three stitch order anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I need new socks because these have holes in them, but these are the only pair I bought. So we'll go to um, Hot Topic and get Ravenclaw yes. socks. Not yeah, Hot Topic. Yes, I was thinking box socks. lunch, but that's over in Arlington. But <gasps> there's a box lunch in Arlington. Oh my god, we need to go to Arlington. I love box lunch. So do I, actually. I really do love box lunch. I, I think it's a really cool them. store. It's actually owned by Hot Topic. Is that a fact? Yes. yes. Okay, doesn't matter which store I go in, I feel really old when I walk in the door, but I get my fandom stuff there, so. Okay, um, sorry, distraction, so. It's us, I, I mean. I kitted up Pumpkinville. Why did we get off, oh, because there's holes in my sock and I was looking at my toes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna rename you Doug, okay? <laughs> Tor <laughs> So we didn't buy that chart though. <laughs> Which oh life li life uh the life liberty and the pursuit, pursuit of squirrels. squirrels the new long dog sampler which isn't called that it's like uh dog's happiness or something, something. like that adorable need it in my life so true to me but okay so we're at Stitch Inch I kid it at Pumpkinville I need to order the one two I need to place one two three Stitch order and I decided. I will be right back. <laughs> no. Okay, and we're back, and we have a new guest star. We got another one coming up here. Oh, so wait, there's the other nose. In Stitch Niche, I kid up Pumpkinville. I started to kid up Coffee House, and then I sat down for a new start. And I'm laughing at the dog. <laughs> my new and the child making faces. Oh my gosh! Yeah. My new start yeah. was out of. Let me see if I can find this. This I got yelled at for Kate. Joan Elliott's Bewitching Cross Stitch. And why was I yelled at for this, Kate? Because you had it upside down on the counter. Librarian okay. etiquette. Etiquette. You're going to break the spine. And your dog's going to rip through my stitch net. Tis a possibility. Okay. So, I started Mother Moon. I do have plans to start Father Son in... Which group's thing? Oh, semi sane stitchers for yes. the for the yeah in July for the blingy one that needs done by the end of the year so, or four months I, I don't remember but so this is my start on her I worked on her more yesterday this is just on a twenty eight count white jobelin in the in the extra video yeah they don't want to see my tablet in the video yes they'll see it in just a minute honey she's showing so, her start that's what I've got I'm working on. The back stitching in there, and then I'll probably take it down. But that circle met up, and I was very, very happy. And then the other one I started that I totally forgot about until Miss Kate hey, told me. Needle minder from. Oh. oh, yes. Well, I got two needle minders on there. I put those there so they wouldn't get lost. Oh, okay. So the needle minder is a pin that Miss Kate's turned into a needle minder for me, and it's Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. Because Kate, or Garrett. We, we, we. Uh, we watch that frequently in our house. Because Garrett got Little Mermaid. Just because he's older and he watched it in theaters, he thinks he has a right to it. 
He got Lady in the Tramp, too. Yeah, I don't care about that. I wanted... <laughs> the other one I started, I actually partially kitted up thanks to Ambien. Apparently, Kate, Garen, and I had a long conversation about what needed to be done and what fabric it needed to be done on. And, um, don't actually remember. I just know I had an invoice the next day from 123Stitch. I don't remember the conversation. But it is Glendon Place Spooktown Square. This is part one of four. It started right in the middle. And this is on a 30, 28 count. I don't even know what, because this is being weird. I'm going to say 28 count Joblin in Stormy Gray from Witchelps. And I just started in the middle, which is here somewhere. I borrowed B5200 from Kate because I was not counting up to the black border. And I just have one little row of B5200. That's the start of the ghost in the middle. It's a really big piece. Yeah. It's, I think this is actually a fat half. And there's a sticker right there. Oh, what is it? 28 count. <coughs> As Shannon it. hacks up alum, 28 count. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Honestly? Okay. Probably not, but so yes, this is 28 count Stormy Gray, and it is a fat half. As the child. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Can I have that back now? Thank you. All right. What you got next, Kate? Um. Well, first she needs to show you her naked guys, cat that's learning stop. how to toilet. Stop. I need to do something on plus sale. You do. Okay. Like. Yep, that's your game. No, just because the neighbor's dog is barking does not mean you need to bark. Okay. Yes, the garbage truck is coming. What? Okay, Kate, what starts do you have? I don't know what I just did, but now she's going to spend like two seconds it. fixing it. Um, Alex. Honey, sit back. Alright, so you saw my Christmas starts. My birthday, which was day after Christmas, I started, um, I'm doing the 12 Days of Hade, which is, I think that's actually the name of the group, mm -hmm. and I've forgotten the admin's name, I'm so sorry. Purple. Just go with it. I'll look it up while you show off. I don't remember. Anyway. Anyway, that was so right up my alley, right? 12 Hade starts in 12 days? Yeah. I'm going to beg her to do it again next year because I'm already, like, picking my starts for next year. Keep laughing. <laughs> the YouTube's upside yep, down. YouTube's on your tablet. Hey, Regina up. Theo Thatcher. Okay, Regina. Excellent idea. Okay, so my birthday, I started Mini Blue Topaz Fairy. My birthstone. I had a starter. Child. Let mommy show her start. Yes. Honey, can you please go play with your tablet? Burn. Off camera. Burn. Off camera. Sweetheart, I can't see him, please. You have there's coffee there. It's very hot. I don't want you to get burned. Okay, that's very hot coffee. Oh my goodness. I know. You are so tired. Okay. Pause this we'll right be now. Right back. Four year old moment. And we're back. Yay. Okay. So you're up with your twelve days of hate. Right. <clears throat> okay, so twelve days of hate. <clears throat> I'm still trying to lose along. That's all right. Birthstone fairy. Okay. This is almost all of my 12 Days of Hate starts are going to be on this fabric. I bought it from the best place to buy fabric. Simple fabric. Not like your hand dyes or anything. But yeah, just your basic fabric. And I buy a lot of fabric from her. And that would be Rita Reen's Cross Stitching Supplies. I'm going to argue that with um, Nikki. True. Mm -hmm. True. Great place to get fabric because also trying creations. I love my Nikki. I, I like read it because I can get the big pieces. Okay. 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 I got three yards of 28 count fabric for $24. Okay. No, 33. It's $11 a yard. But they're 60 inches wide. And I get my all my Ada from her because I can get it for $6 a yard. Okay. So, well, you should get fabric from Nikki at Charting Creations, too. You should get everything from Nikki at Charting Creations. And charts and floss. and She does kits, which I have a couple I'll show off. Mm-hmm. Anyway, this is where I started. Oh, there, that fabric. 28 Count Dove Gray Monaco. That's where most of these are. 
So I have my little corner started with my blues. And my needle minder is a Capricorn. That's what I am. And that came from Delicious Threads. My second start for my birthday was... Victorian House. By Mill Hill. Here it is on the paper, and my needle minder is a Christmas street sign from Brenda's Minders and More. Okay, so those were my starts on the 26th. Okay, so my starts, I started, Miss Kate picked this one out. This will eventually be a ornament for my parents, because my mother loves anything really cowgirl related. This is Holiday Boot from Mill Hill. And this little needle and thread attached to this because I was really tired and I thought it was off. They didn't give us, I think we figured out like I counted properly, but there wasn't, it's not as much paper as Mill Hill usually gives. Super tight. Super, super tight. But this was my start on it yesterday. So just a little baby start. And uh, I sent that to Heather and Katie. Like, just like, just like that, like it's what it's going to be. And they're looking at the picture and they're like, did you invert that or is it just weird? I'm like, I think it's just weird. Unless this isn't light, light tan, which Mill Hill needs to figure out a better way to organize floss anyway. So, could be that that's not light tan and I'll have to rip it out anyway. And the end, so that was start one. Actually, that was technically start, start two. Start one was I'm not even gonna bother to attempt to pretend to pronounce this I don't have a picture of it but it's in Scotland was it Scotland or was it Ireland I think Scotland okay so this this is one of the kits from Tarting Creations that I have I love the way she does the floss it's all tangled right now because I was playing with it yesterday but came in this nice little package with the fabric and she tied a bow on it and she always picks the bow to coordinate to the kit so this is in, in the, in, it's a castle. <laughs> and I'm stitching this on 25 count, one over one easy count, as I do all of my full coverage. And I do need to buy some of that from Nikki. Yes. I've never tried it. The 25 easy count? Yeah. Oh, it's so fun. Do it in your kit. The $450 kit that Tim is not going to kill you for. Here it goes. It goes like this. So that's my start. It's so tiny, but it's so pretty. That's just one diagonal, because I stitched diagonally, as we know. And then, distract them. Okay, I'm going to distract you. My next start, my final start yesterday. <laughs> Wait your turn. It is still my turn. It is not your turn. It is left. still my turn. Wait your turn. <laughs> My start from the 27th, <laughs> my next Haid start was, the rest of my Haid starts, I did the birthstone fairy, but the, the other 11 are all Jasmine Beckett Griffith. So, I did Faces of Fairy, 162. Same deal, 28 count, dove gray Monaco. Two over one half stitch. Stitch diagonally. Anyway, here we are. And so there is my triangle there. My goal is, if time permitting, I'm doing two diagonals when I start these, but that's entirely time permitting, as you shall see on some of the newer ones. And my cross needle minder is from Brenda's Minders and More. And now it's your turn. Okay, so my final start yesterday was the Dimensions Kit Christmas Tradition. And I am just stitching this on the kit fabric. It's a 14 count light blue Ada. And I just got a little start on the girls. Oh, you cannot see that, Mary Mother Sons. Okay, there we go. A little start on the girls' jacket. Woo! Okay. Yay! Which guy next? Because all I have left are my new starts for today. Okay. Well, those were my whips, really. Okay. 
You don't have any more whips with you? Not really, no. Okay. That's fine. I'm just checking. Because remember, I have I have a giant, my big backpack over here full of new starts. Okay, so she's going to show you this when it's her turn. She's going to show you the stuff she's going to start. Yes. Eventually. One day. All right, so next up was Faces of Fairy 141. I think that was from Friday. I think so. I think so. This one is on 18 count oatmeal. Ada. So obviously my, my two diagonals triangle is much bigger. And my minders are all from Minding My Minders. And they're just, uh, they're illustrations from the storybook, Alice in Wonderland. I love the, the Duchess with the pig baby. Well, I think this one, the baby's still a baby. Hadn't changed the pig yet. It's your turn. That's all your starts? That was my one start from the go through all your starts, girl. <sighs> all right, next up on Saturday, started this. Shannon picked this out because we were meeting up with Garrett, coffee stitcher. So I started Minnie off to see the wizard. Off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because I don't know the rest of the song. This was the one that came easy though. That one. Anyway. Garrett's rolling over and whatever he, he is. dying. <laughs> anyway, 28 count, Dove Grey Monaco. Do you think he's dying because I don't know the words or because my voice is so horrible? Don't know the words. Okay. Um, anyway, that was my diagonal there. And I have Dorothy's red shoes. And that one came from Erica. Um, Erica, I'm True so North. sorry. Thank you. True North Needle Minders. I got you, babe. <sighs> okay, that was Saturday. Yesterday. This one I did not quite finish my two diagonals. We'll get them today. I was going to say I'll probably finish that up today. I did that with um, the Alice Faces of Fairy. Uh, I, I did uh, most of it one day, and then I did second the other day. But got to post my pictures um, Sunday. Squirrel. Mini Alice with the Dormouse. Twenty-eight count. Dove Gray Monaco. Two over one. Half stitch. So I did get the first diagonal done, and I'm. I got one color of the second one done. And my minder is Alice with the cat and the rabbit and I see mushrooms. No, no caterpillars. Um, that's from Ness's Needle Minders. And and that was, I like that one because my, my sweetie for Christmas, one of my Christmas gifts was this most gorgeous of all calendars. My Jasmine Beckett Griffith calendar, and look, I get to look at all the pretties. Those things are going to come alive in the middle of the night and strangle you. Well, it depends on the design. I love JBG. Her her artwork is gorgeous. I do not like the faces because they are big and their eyes are creepy and they're going to kill me. Which is why I will not stitch them. That's all. Valid reasons. I still want to meet her. Of course you do. Oh, I should have gone to downtown Disney when she was there. That would I have been not. nice. What was I doing on the 22nd? I think I was sleeping. I know she was there because I got the notification. Yes, because you were so mad. I was so mad that I wasn't in Florida. She went to, she came to downtown Disney. Um, and Kate's just like, I just want to meet her and get an autograph. I'm like, well, it's only like $500 for a round trip. Sure. It won't kill you too much. Yeah, and last time I was in Florida, I missed her by two days. Mm. You'll get there. Anyway. Today's start. Dorothy and Toto. I kind of want to stitch just her eye, but I know that would be creepier than stitching the whole thing. 
They have one that's, well, it's not jasmine, but they do have one that's just an eye. No, I want jasmine because the eyes are gorgeous. Well, yeah. Freak me out. <sighs> um, okay, so this is going to be on 28 count white Monaco. So that was an easy face. one because it's, it's 20 by 24. So didn't even have to cut the fabric for that. Okay. That's all my starts. Okay. So what you got? I was planning a wick up uh, every new year. Kate and I do a whip 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 apocalypse. Thank you. And I've decided for next year, I'm only going to get a new start with the exception of my birthday, of course, and Garrett's birthday and Katie's birthday and Kate's birthday. Those those don't count. Um, but I've decided I'm only going to do one new start for every three finishes. And I was looking through my exit shop. I'm like, I've only got like forty some odd projects. But I've got a lot of kits. So I'm going to do a startocalypse. And as you see, all I got five, and that's probably where I'm going to just end it. Oh, you'll have one today. Oh, two today. Two today, see? So, we I got two, two today. I have three planned today, actually. actually I don't need, have the other two ready. I actually need to message Nikki and see when she wants to start that. But the one I'm starting with Kate, do you have this handy? What? The picture of it? What? Cliffhanger. Oh, yeah. So while she gets that, um, with Nikki, I will be starting the artsy. Okay. I will be starting, and this is, I'll go ahead and do an unpacking because this is the kit. But I will be doing Artisy's Christmas House 1. And it comes in this awesome thing. I'm going to also, when we go out, need to get the, um, like, large gallon or two gallon bags. So, that blows up at Walmart. Oh, no, Walmart nope. can carry them. Target. That's upside down. Yeah, I got a Target for those. Okay. Ooh, you get to showcase how I made it all pretty for you. Ooh. So, this is what I will be starting with Nikki. Her floss comes gorgeously packaged on floss cards like this. I actually prefer this to the Haid rings because I the rings always come loose. Like, I inevitably lose the rings. Um, but yeah, this is, and then I've got the fabric. So this will be started as soon as I message Nikki and find out what time she wants to start that. Remind, and then random thought, remind me when we're done about floss holders. Okay. And then with Miss Kate. This is a gift from Shannon last year, I think. Is it last year? Yes. Okay. She went to HagueCon and got to meet the... Amy Stewart. So and so she bought me a she bought me a hard copy chart and Amy signed it. So I'm fine. This is super size max color. You see that cliffhanger. Look inside. Two Kate, Amy Stewart, and because it's Kate and she's done so much for me and I love her so much. I haven't done anything. I went ahead and because I got this about four or five months before I actually saw her. I packaged it for her. She did. So, when she opens it, and this is going to be far enough back, it's all in document protectors, and because we work on the diagonal method, I went ahead and started highlighting the diagonals. I didn't get through all of them. I think I got through the first, like, 30 pages, but you should be good. Yeah, yeah 38 pages. Oh, there is some coffee on that one. It wouldn't be me if there wasn't coffee on it. <laughs> That's true. So, and this one, to show you the bow, but yes, we are starting this. Technically tomorrow, because it's our new year, new start, but I feel like today counts because we're used to East Coast, so we can start it like an hour early. Okay, because that's not going to count towards my year of starts because I'm doing two tomorrow anyway. Yep. So it doesn't count. So. So my same stitches. This. Year starts. I'm fine. It, it got pulled out of the bow because I was looking for something for Kate, but this is the bow that my wonderful Nikki wrapped it in. I think Alex ran off with the other ribbon. I don't know if you're ready to do that again. That doesn't, no, they got that one. Oh, oh the that purple one? Back? Okay. Okay. The, the red and green one. Snack that before you, yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you'll never see it again. And then she included, God bless Nikki, she remembers what size needles I like when I don't. So she always puts, she always includes a full package on James in there and then she specializes it so mine's always a 28 size needle. So now we're going to alternate. You're going to show a whip and I'm going to show I'm just going to pull one from the bag. Gotcha, show. Okay. And I'm probably going to have more. So, one of the projects I will be starting will be, I got this off of a, uh, not one, two, three stitch. Everything cross stitch. 
I got an order from them. And it will be the Woodland Fairy. Woodland? No, Woodland Enchantress. Uh, from Dimensions. And this one actually threw me in when I was looking at it. It has beads in it. I've never seen a Dimensions kit with beads. So. so Enchantress. She needs. Or Enchantress. En Enchantress. Yeah, Enchantress. And what the heck? They misspelled that. Unless this Entrantress. is. Enchantress. Yeah. Yeah, unless that's. Unless. I mean, that's. That's not a thing. I'm just going to throw that out there. It's not in. <sighs> In tran <laughs> Dimensions, seriously, ah! guys. I mean, come on. Still better than Silver Sorry. Creek. Holy okay. Moses. Well. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Okay. Whips, whips, whips. Um, worked on a handful of projects this month. Not that many because I had one to finish. Which I did. She got to finish. I'm so proud of her. We both hate our timed projects, finishes, and then promptly determined that we are never, ever ever doing time stitching again. Unless it's January 1st and they need it by Christmas of some year. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Simon's already realized. He's like, she will stitch you anything, but do not ask when it will be done. I'm like, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. So I've been working on Alice from Dona Stitch. Holy and, blocks of color. Yep. I, my like, I like blocks of color. So I've been working on the top there. With the cat, been working on all my uh, 3808 outlining. So, that's that, a whole lot of stitches. That outlining was actually going pretty good for you. Thank you. Pretty quick, yeah. I like it. And that's nice because then I can just start filling in. Yeah. So, um, this is 16 count Ada that I dyed myself. One of my happy little accidents. <laughs> and uh, my minder is from Ness's Needle Minders. Okay. Another random start I will be doing. This one was uh, from... Nikki, Parting Creations. Love you, Nikki. This is Winter Ride from Dimensions. He's so cute. Make sure there's no typos in there. Nope. <laughs> did you just know you were talking? <laughs> no, you're lucky that I did not actually get that much coffee to, into my mouth before you showed that. So, <laughs> I snorted into the cup, but I didn't store coffee. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Go. Show your next start before you kill me. Oh. All right. This was a start. Nah, nah, nah. I don't remember. It, it's not that old. Sometime recently. It, it's fairly recent. It's fairly recent. And uh, this is for my, my monkey. Monkey, 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 monkey. Playing monkey. in her room with her tablet. Unhappily. But, you know. She'll live. She'll live. Life's full of disappointments. Now, the, the, the child, when you know, makes you feel good when she saw that I was stitching this because there was no way I was keeping that a secret. She's never more than 10 feet away from me. I love my child. Anyway. What's, what's that one off of Solomon Probler? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Contrary to... No I, no, I have to remind myself that I love my children and don't want Just to sell, sell them. them. Yes. Yep. Um, anyway, so when she saw I was stitching this, she actually picked it up and gave it a hug. Aww. So this is Peppa Pig. And she's from Stitch Line. And I have almost all of the outlining done. I have to do her crown. She has a crown up here. Um, she's kind of creepy looking. She's Peppa Pig. You say that like I know what that means. Trust me, you'll see Peppa Pig sometime <laughs> in the next couple days. Trust me. Getty, getty, gumdrops. So, yes, this is Peppa Pig. And, yeah, she's just wearing the crown. I still have to do the outlining on that and finish the wand. Other than that, I can start filling in. So, and that's from Stitch Line. And this is 14 count. I have a pale pink Ada. And I have a little pig. Sorry, pig. Goodness. Looks like you're being stabbed. <laughs> um, nom, 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 nom. Oh, goodness. I have a little pig clay needle minder. From uh, True North Needle Minders. I'm like blowing up Nikki's phone right now. When do we start Christmas house, Nikki? I probably shouldn't because she's got like a two year old, but still, she'll be fine. Okay. I'm, I'm laughing at yeah. the dog that's like nose deep in the whips. Yeah. The, the smorsh, 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 smorsh is currently what, honey? using. I know, honey, we're going to have lunch in just a little bit. He's currently using my whip pile as a pillow. So, okay. Yes, darling. 
Yep. Just play quietly in your room, honey. We're almost done. So one thing I was told that I absolutely had to have or else I was going to be decapitated by the queen was a seam ripper. I was going to curse her with the eternal frog curse, which I know. Because I don't, I just use Dad, my needle to frog things. I forgot the baby alive. Can I throw it at it? No, don't look, throw it because then you'll, you'll break the motor. <laughs> I love how that's what you're concerned about. <laughs> well, I didn't figure Alex, you'd actually here. hit the child, the real child. Alex. But yeah, I don't want you to throw the doll because the doll wasn't exactly cheap. So there, go play in your room. And I really don't want her to be any creepier than she actually is. Okay, so I got a seam ripper. Curse of the ten thousand frogs, which is what I, I know. I use my needle to rip things out, but lately because of my medication, my brain has not been there, and I've had to frog quite a few things. And one of them, God, what was I stitching the other day? I don't know. You told me, but I forgot. But it was something, and you ripped the fabric. No, I didn't rip the fabric. Can I hurt your brush for me? Um, Please. honey, yeah. it's currently buried. Why don't you? Yeah, she'll have to brush her teeth in a little bit. Why don't you do what mommy and Miss Shannon did and pretend there was a toothbrush? So I was, I was frogging something. I think it might have been the um, oh, the American flag quilt sampler. Ah. And I got all the way halfway through the back stitch border and doubled back and realized after about two days that I had made a mistake somewhere in the first 10 stitches that I had thrown everything off. It could not be fudged. It all had to be ripped out. That and the frosted pumpkin stitchery one I did for my cousin. I did the entire roof in the wrong color. So I had to buy a seam ripper, which thankfully I haven't had to use yet, which is also a good thing because I don't know how to use it. But we were talking to, to Garrett. It gives me heartburn. We were talking to Garrett and Kate's like, you can't be a stitcher without a seam ripper. And Garrett's like, I don't have one. And Kate goes, well, then how do you frog what you need to frog? I'm like, he doesn't need to frog. He's Garrett. That's true. So the other that thing. That was when I threatened him with the fabric scissors. Yes. She took the fabric scissors and pretended to stab him. So the other thing I'll be starting again from one knot, one, two, three stitch, everything cross stitch will be Spring Fairy. And there's no beads on this one. I actually really love her. She's pretty. She's gorgeous. Plus, I think it's the waterfall in the back that her wings kind of blend into. Do you see there? Yeah. Her wings. Oh, love that. You're up. I really hope to God that's not blending to it. Probably. <laughs> Pull out your start or your whip. Oh my God, I love this one. I have this. I'm excited to kit it up, but I need, like I said, I need a one, two, three stitch order, so I'm going to have to buy floss for it. She needs a one, two, three stitch order. Well, I can't do Pumpkinville without all of it, and I need those extra flosses. Oh, and I she also... She says, of course, I don't know when I'm starting Pumpkinville, but I don't have anything for it yet. <laughs> I'm also officially now have a Dropbox account, which Kate is thrilled with. <sighs> Tell them why you needed a Dropbox account. Oh Forgot my tablet with all my patterns in Florida. Florida. Now her mama is overnighting it. It will be there on the second at three forty-five p.m. It will be where at in and um this can be sent directly to you at three forty-five p.m. So an hour after I leave, it's gonna be sent to my barracks room, Kate. I was just making sure. God damn it! There is blending filament in here. Told you. <sighs> I have a dimensions kit with pretty sparkles in it, and I'm like, as soon as I opened it, I was like, oh, that's that blending filament stuff that people don't like. I've never tried it. So. Okay, go, go, go. Knew that was blending filament. Anyway, so this is my 12. Oh, this has a beading needle. Why does this have a beading needle if there's no beetles? I'm very scared now. There's no beetles? <laughs> When I send you this link, this is what you have to look forward to <laughs> for the rest of your life. Oh, goodness. Okay. Holy anyway. three pages, Batman. What? Um, I was going to call this 12 Days of Halloween, and that's not what <laughs> <laughs> There's four pages of this. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Halloween rules. This is Halloween rules from Lizzie Kate. Can I wait to start this? I have all of them started. I have one finished. I need to put some more minders on this because I got threads everywhere that get in my way. 
Um, I've been working on these, you know, periodically for the Halloween sale in Mania. You know what? I to need fit use, the theme. I may use that for the Halloween sale. Oh, I, I don't think they'll count as a new start. Because it has the fabric. I just need the floss. It'll be a new start. It's at technically 13 new starts. No, I can't have it be a new start because I need three finishes before I can have a new start. And then how am I going to get it done with the, um, um, for the Halloween sale? If I, if I can't, if, uh, we got to figure out how that doesn't count as a new start. I'll figure that out. Okay. Okay. So. This is why we have issues with patterns because we always. Yeah. So anyway, there is the whole thing. Like you can see that, but you know, there's the whole thing. It's pretty big. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know either. Um, I know the haunt, H is for Haunted House. That's January, so that's Visit a Haunted House. Yeah. So that'll be for January. I haven't looked at the other themes. Um, there's the one I've finished. Yes, I realize the pumpkin with the buttons looks evil. No, he doesn't. Look a little closer. He looks evil. No, he doesn't. It's like the slant of the stitches. No, but I was dork. having a heck of a time getting those things on there, so I didn't care at that point. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've, I've worked on you know a few of these periodically in the last few months, but we're only going to focus on the one I was working on the last couple days, Simone's. which is the very bottom, and it's be spooktacular. And the reason I'm working on it because December's theme is bats, and I'm pretty sure those little things are bats. I stole it from you. You stole it? Give it back! Where what? it went. I don't know. <laughs> you stole my chart. I did because I needed to... No, I, I put it back on your lap. You did not put... It's put it over here by the coffee. I did not put it by the coffee. You put it by the coffee. I did not. You didn't hand it to me. <sighs> I'm seriously blowing up Mickey's phone. I'm pretty sure those things in between the bones are bats. So... I'm pretty sure. If not, they're, I'm calling them bats. So that's why I've been working on this one. So I finished the border, I did the word B, and I did a little bone. Those are definitely spiders. They're not! No, they're spiders. No, no, no. Because there are spiders in, um, um, sit for a spell. Okay. Those are spiders. Are those B, like, charms? What, the spiders? Yeah. No. Okay, okay. Never mind. Um, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure those are bats. Or at least, like I said, I'm calling them bats because they're close enough. Okay, so I did get another finish. It's probably my last finish of 2018. And my Fitbit's going to die because I left the charger in my room. But this is Lizzie Kate's Christmas Rules. I got the first banner down. First banner down. So I got the first banner done. I'll probably start the other one tonight. Is that with the Beatles? Yes, with the beetles. So that's one of the whips. And then another project that I will eventually start. This is actually going to be a restart. Oh, you know what? I can start Happy Halloween when I get home. And that won't count because it's already kitted up. Okay. So. What's Happy Halloween? The. Oh, the other one. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is Merry Christmas. I actually started this while I was in the psych ward. Got like the H entirely done and then had to rip it all out. Which is probably another reason she wanted me to get the seam ripper because about halfway through ripping out, I got really annoyed and just threw all the fabric away. So we're going to fabric dive today for fabric that will work with this. And then I'll start Halloween. I'm sure. I'll start Halloween at a later point in time. Probably when I get home. Because I'll still technically be on vacation. Yep. I don't know if it'll count. There will be a full video for me on the whatever Saturday is coming up. And I hope you all really like me because you're going to see a lot of me. Because uh, my, my 2019 plans, which we'll get to. Uh, 2019. Oh, I love the fact we're at an hour. This is fantastic. This was supposed to be a quick video. Ha! Of course, you know, we shut up for five seconds. What's that? And just show the, the stitching, you know. Why? I don't know. Um, This was a start and a whip. This is for my other monkey, the 16-year-old one. Uh, one of her absolute favorite shows is Ruby. Because that's awesome. It is a really cool show. She's got me hooked on it. <clears throat> so, uh, so I'm stitching. I'm mad because I flipped this wrong. But it will still work. It's going to be a little tight at the bottom. But it will work. Because she wanted both Ruby and Juniper on the same fabric. So I got them from Fangirl Stitches. Mm -hmm. Did tons of stitchy math. Cut the fabric. And then started stitching it in the wrong orientation. Mm. Right here. That's okay. Okay, honey, go play with that. In your but room. yeah, that—that's why there's like 
way more fabric on this side. I was like, there's something wrong with this. Of course, I didn't really look into it until <laughs> I had the word stitched. Not back stitched, at least. And, and half of Weiss done. Here, here you go. But, you can fix it. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> no, because I was like, nah, it's all right. Because I did, I, I literally counted to the bottom and did my measurements. And I was like, okay, I'm going to have like an inch at the bottom. But hey. Still counts. It, I can make it work. So, I know this is from Leslie. I cannot pronounce it. Let me see. Oh, this oh this is Astreus. Right? Okay, Astreus. Astreus. See, Leslie. Um, yeah. Love that. It's beautiful. It's purple. I did her... I think it might still be going on, her annual sale, where she throws up all of the fabric of the month. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, I totally bought them all. And then, like, her three bestsellers will be in her permanent line. Which I'm okay Go with. Go buy Winter Sunset. I need that in its permanent line. Winter Sunset's pretty. It is. I want it to be in the permanent line. I like Anubis. Mm. That's one of the, the ones that's leading. Yeah, which is good. That's what I'm doing plum pudding on. Okay. Um... Anyway, so there's, I have the word done. I just need to back stitch it and half of Weiss stitched for Ruby. And Juniper is just going to be behind or beneath it. And my minder, I hope says this will make sense at some point. I'm not, I haven't got to the point in the story where it makes sense. But I have a steampunk angel wing. And I made that one myself. This is going to be like a two hour video. Probably. And at some point in time, you're, you're going to need to throw like a sandwich together for the month. Exactly. All right, so I am nearing... Oh, hang on. I got another pocket on here. Yeah. You know, nearing the end. Oh, here's another one of the... This is the vinyl winter birds from Delicious Threads. Cutie. So, should I go through like all of these or how much more do you have? Yeah, That's fine. I'll do two. Okay, so I got a bunch of these, but this is Fabric Shop from Mill Hill, and this is Haunted Mansion from Mill Hill with Glow in the Dark Thread. I've never worked with Glow in the Dark Thread before. It's so much fun. So yeah, what you got? I got, ah, 12 Days of Stitch Mess and Mania, which I started out really strong on, and then I couldn't find one of my whips. And I kind of stalled and haven't picked it up since. It, it all went downhill from there. There. Hmm? It all went downhill from there. It did. <laughs> um, so, I am doing... And I, I do want to pick it up because there's a few that I actually want to work on anyway. Um, what was I talking about? 12 days... No, Stitchmas. Stitchmas, thank you. Uh, so, for day for each of the days, I'm doing 15 minutes on a literal 12 days of Christmas piece. And then 15 minutes on a creative 12 Days of Stitch Miss piece. So my literal is Satsuma Street's 12 Days of Christmas. But yeah, three and four, can't find them. They're not with the rest of them. So they went on vacation. But I did work on... Anyone who has seen my videos will remember the 12... The uh, partridge in a peach tree. <laughs> that I was like, these are pears. And I know they're pears. And three times in a row I said, okay, so I stitched on, I stitched these peaches, pears. I know they're pears. I promise. No, they're not. So I stitched on partridge in a pear tree. Partridge and, in a peach tree. And I did, uh, I did the tree there. Or at least the tree branch. Well, go potty if you have to go potty. I'll have to. Okay, well, you're just dancing like you are. So, but there it is. It's on 14 count. White Ada. I love that you're using one leg as an armor. It's, it's very like handy. Right thing right now. It's very <laughs> handy. See, it's right there. <laughs> what, child? What, baby? Um, and then I have a Santa Mickey. Who's fuzzy? Fuzzy, 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 mm -hmm. fuzzy. Oh, he is fuzzy. He is. His his coat is fuzzy. Yes, he's fuzzy. Can I touch it? He's fuzzy. See? He's fuzzy. Oh, my gosh. So, and that's from Satsuma Street. So, that was uh, day one literal, and then day one creative, I went with And a Forest Grew by Rosewood Manor. Kind of like lift my leg so you can use it, and you're like, <laughs> not <laughs> rude. Mish, 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 um, mish. Because, you know, trees, all right? And this is on it's on fabric. 
that you stitch on? It is on 28 count Lugana in spring green from Fabrics by LJ. Who, by the way, by uh, deviation. He has his uh, Fabric of the Month open again. He does, and he also has, like, I journal, not journal, like, calendar plan, plan, that's the word I was looking for, and he has a shop for that now, too, and his spreads are fucking amazing. Go check him out if you do that sort of thing. Nifty. Lucas, or, Lucas is awesome. Yeah, Lucas is awesome. So here is the whole thing, and I have leaves as my minders, and these shiny leaves came from... I got them at Brenda's Minders and More. I got some at Delicious Threads. I got some at True North. They're everywhere. So I don't remember which one came from which. But anyway, so I worked on this little tree. And this is being stitched one over one on the 28th, so it'll fit. Um, I did most of this bottom this bottom section right here of the, of the tree branches. So one day my stitching will grow up and be bigger than my needle minder. Okay. Sorry if you saw that. I'm making funny faces at a little monkey who's now crawling over here. Hi. You're blocking mommy. Can, can you sit on the couch, honey? Nope, oh. you really can't. Here's our stuff. There. Now you can sit. Right there. Come on, child. I love how you go limp every time someone tries to pick you up like you're not 12 pounds. Okay. 41. I lift. Dost thou lift, bro? <gasps> Alright, next up we got... Another, this is Christmas Cabin. Pretty much all these are going to be buttons and beads, and I'm getting kicked. Uh, Christmas Cabin. And then, ow, ow, that is my leg, child. Sorry. And then this is Haunted Laboratory. Again, with the glow-in-the-dark threads. Yeah, don't want to have lunch in just a minute. All right, so. I'm pretty hungry, too. She looks appetizing. Should I just eat her? Yes. So, no, I'm not food. I'm a kid. I thought you were a monkey. Dahmer would beg to differ, sweetie. I'm gonna corrupt her young. All right. Oh God, baby girl, I'm so sorry. I'm right here. You bonked her in the head, didn't you? I did with my elbow. I was trying to give her a hug, baby girl. I'm so sorry. I'm not laughing at my child being injured. I promise. Yeah, you are. Okay, you're okay. <laughs> you can, okay. She's gonna strangle me. <laughs> All right, so day two of 12 Days of Stitchmas was uh, Two Turtle Doves by Satsuma and Street. And a peach tree. So I did the blue. I'm ignoring you. I did the blue under the birds. Hey, there you are. And I have my Santa teddy bear, who is also the <laughs> uh, You've got gunk in your eye, child. She's tired. And then my creative piece, for day what two was Spring Lineup by the Trilogy because it has turtles in it. Two turtle doves. I don't think I've seen this one. Oh, that's cute. Do they have the entire, don't tell me if they have the entire season series. Mm -hmm. God damn it, they have all four seasons. They also have Halloween, Christmas, Easter. Mom. Easter. They have several lineups. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are adorable. I have three of them. I still need to get Winter, I think. I think it's winter that I need to get. Because I have the other three. Oh my god, yeah, I remember your whips of this. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, that took me way too long. I'm like, this looks really familiar. And then you pull out the pink fabric. I'm like, yes! It's this beautiful pink. Now, for, for your hand-dyed Ada, there are many places you can go. But one of them is dying for cross-stitch. Yes. Um, many other places you can go. But also, dying for cross-stitch. So, um... That's where I got my 14 count Ada from. It's a beautiful pink piece. And so that's, and I'm stitching this in just various hand dyed threads. Um, I have some from Fabrics by LJ. I have some from Carrie, no, so far it's just all Fabrics by LJ. But I think I'm gonna pull out some Carrie's Creation when I need it. But anyway, I stitched on the little turtle. This is the turtle shell right here. So that's what I added. And I have a, Spring yeah. uh, Just Hello Kitty oh, from yeah. um, Needle Attractions. Mommy's filming. Oh, it's my turn now, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Okay. Next up is Bookseller. Yes, baby. And then we have one of my favorite. Actually, these two are pretty much my favorite. So we've got Hunt, or, um, Bookseller, which is one of my favorites. 
sorry, we're in the Stitcher game. We're both in the Stitcher game district entry thing for semi sane Stitchers, and we're currently blowing up because it just started. But next up is another one of my favorite ones, Haunted Laboratory. Or... Tell me what that says. Your fingers in the mic. <laughs> Haunted Library. Tell me why I called it a Haunted Laboratory. Because you already have that one? Because she needs more coffee. That's what I'm going with. So, Haunted Library. Again, glow-in-the-dark thread. You know what? Haunted. Halloween. I'm starting this today. It's going to work. There you go. Boom. And then I only have one of the... I'm sorry, s'more, s'more. That's okay. I don't. I, I don't think I can quite use twelve days of Halloween. Twelve days of Halloween. <laughs> it works. Halloween rules for all the themes, but I'm going to try to use them as much as possible. But you're right. Haunted. Yeah. H that, is for haunted house. Yep. That I'm good. And then I should be able to finish that if I work on it. I don't know. So, last one that I have of these is the tea room. Mm. And yes, I am wearing a ring on that particular finger. It is a promise ring, so no one get up in arms yet. So, tea room. That's it for my buttons and beads. I've got one, two, three, four, four more over here, but I'm missing one. I love you, but you're not sticking me in one of those dresses as <laughs> bridesmaid. Um, honey, he wants a renaissance wedding. Oh, okay, I'll wear those. Okay. Those I, are really pretty. I am missing... Like Medieval Maiden. Yes. I'm missing... I'll wear that. I'm missing... I'm missing... <sighs> Fuck. Budge. Sorry, go. I'm missing something, but I'll figure it out later. All right. So this is as far as I got on 12 Days of Stitch Miss because I couldn't find the literal on this one and it just irritated the crud out of me. So I worked on my creative and then... Good night. Anyway, so uh, three three French hens. So my creative was Afternoon in Paris from Country Can Cottage because Paris, French. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is 28 Count Monaco from Moe's Sale. I think it was a fabric of the month, so I don't, um, um mm. didn't have a name. I have to remember. And it, yeah, I know it's, mm. it's crooked as Long. crud, but it's Long. okay. I've got like straight. three of those in that series. I'm missing one. I can never remember which one. Uh, New York or Rome? Paris and New York. Ooh, Paris, New, New York. York. London. Rome, London. Yeah. I can never remember which one I don't have. I think I don't have Rome. I have New York. I gotta pull, pull it out eventually one day. I have um, London too, but anyway, Oops, sorry. so I stitched the tree next to the Apple Tower. I think I had part of the trunk done at the bottom, so I just stitched the rest of the branches and the rest of the trunk. So, and then I have a Les Mis needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. It's a little locket. Hey, did, so you have any, did you have anything else? Yeah, I've got it. Okay. I've got four more, but okay. like that small one that I showed you the other day while you were at your computer, I don't know what I did with it. It's like tea room, tea shop, tea dimensions. Are you yep. having fun? Okay. It's around here somewhere. All right, back up, sweetie. Are they, do you have anything else? I do. Okay. Oh, thanks. All right. So if you do not follow Michelle Bendy on Instagram, you need to. She's awesome. She is. And on top of that... She does de-stash, but she does de-stash a little differently. She does de-stash auctions. And the one rule about this auction is you donate to a charity of her choice. So this year they're doing the Michael, or this month they're doing the Michael J. Park, Michael J. Fox Parkinson Foundation. Oh, that's um, nice. Last month they did California Fire Department yeah, to help with that. And the auction I participated in, they were doing something, I cannot for the life of me remember it now, but it's a foundation for basically children who and adults who have a neurological condition that blocks motor control. Um, one of her followers' child. MS? No, it's like a, a something. ALS. No. No. But I'll look it up when, when... Kate shows herself, but I did, I participated in this auction because first off, I love this pattern. I've always wanted it. And since they've, they're now discontinued, this was the only way I could. And I set a budget a little higher than I typically would. I set a budget for $200. And the reason I did that, 
Exactly. It's for charity. It's not going to her. She doesn't even charge shipping. So, like, I paid $72 for this. I actually donated $100. But this is the MCG Ow. Textiles Little Mermaid from no. Thomas Kincaid. No. Sit down. <coughs> Sit down. I'm going to keep this right here. <coughs> so, ow. Ow. You okay? I'm going to pause this real fast. So, this is the Little Mermaid Thomas Kincaid Disney <coughs> Dream Collection. And so, yeah, I paid $100 for this. In reality, I sent $100 to charity, which I'm okay with. So, you show your next one, and I'm going to see if I can hunt up what the flip this thing was, because it's going to drive me nuts. I like how you asked me, like, I'm going to remember. I don't remember my own stuff. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, All right, so this is, uh, I am working on this for a few reasons. This is uh, for semi-sane stitchers, because for the starts, um, I'm using the blocks. Each block is a different start. So I'm doing the frames on those right now. This is the Jungle Sal from Frosted Pumpkin. I know the fabric came from Fabrics by LJ. Nope, no tag. <sighs> so that's all I know. And it's 14 count Ada. Oh, excuse me, my goodness. But isn't that pretty fabric? But yes, I've been working on the frames. The other reason I'm working on it is for the snowball fight in Ultimate Cross Stitch, which started today. So I am literally right in the middle of stitching this border. My minders are a uber cute um, rainforest frog from Minding My Minders and a K Disney Ka alphabet from The Everyday Stitcher. Okay, so it's called Apraxia. Yeah, it, no, I certainly don't remember that one. It's, um, let me see if I can find some information on it. Oh, oh, the disorder. Yes. Two, ja, ba, bum. Go ahead. It's okay. actually a speech thing. Oh. Go ahead. I'm going to see if I can't find some more information on this while you do that. Okay. Um, this is my last whip that I've been working on, and this was... Other than the piece that I finished, which I'll show in a minute, um, this was the only other thing I worked on for most of December because my dad and his girlfriend were here for a week and we went every day places. So I was in the car a lot, not driving, don't worry. Um, so I worked on my travel project a lot. That was pretty much the only thing I stitched because I was so tired by the time I got home. I do not have a picture of the finished product. Nope. It's so cute! I could take it out of the snap. I really should because where I am I need to um <laughs> this is my this is my you know don't use Q snaps very often but I do use I gotta take this off anyway. Um I gotta switch it out. Okay. I have my Christmas uh grime guard from Brenda's Minders and More. She makes custom ones. This is a six by eight, so I get my Rhyme guards from her because she makes custom ones. I literally grew up on those books. Me too. I love them. I want to say the shop is called Stitch Robert. Stitch Roberts. Somewhere in that range on Etsy. And it's, uh, you get four charts in the pack. And it's Calvin and Hobbes. Okay, well she does that. She's going to look that up. Apraxia is the inability to perform a movement or task when asked, despite having the desire and physical capability to carry it out. Having difficulty with skilled movements can have causes that aren't due to underlying disease. Examples include muscle fatigue, mental fatigue, or lack of ability. So it's basically, you know, I want to do this. I can do this, but my body will physically not let me do this. Goodness. So... That That's, I won the auction $78, and in reading it, I went, oh my god, what is this? And I ended up donating $100 to research for it. Ooh. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Someone posted on the, my Embarrow Brave one. Ooh, baby. Okay, go, go. Um, <laughs> so this is my travel project. It's so cute! I, I have this bag. I got this from TJ Maxx. So summertime next year, I will be looking for more of these, but I highly recommend them. They're actually like beach bags. They're, they're sold for like swimsuits, swim, swimming bags, 
you know, you can take them to the beach or the water park, but they're just a, like a vinyl material. They've got the strap. They've got the little vinyl pocket. They are the perfect size for a travel project, for a small travel project. Like I said, my 6x8 Q-Snap fits perfectly. So I have my, my thread, my scissors, my Oort catcher, and I have my project in there, my threads, all that. So, and so that I started, this was the first one I started of the four, and this is Calvin and Hobbes Hugging. And I have most of the outlining done. I need to finish, obviously, the bottom. I have the top, all the outlining done. I've started filling in Hobbes. I filled in a little bit of Calvin's face, and I'm working on towards the bottom. So this is the bottom right here, um, like the absolute bottom of the chart. That's Hobbes' other foot. So I've got, you know, feet, a little bit of Calvin to do, a little bit of Hobbes on outlining, and then I can start filling in. So, I adore Calvin and Hobbes. Me too. Okay. So, is that your last one? Uh, yeah. Just okay. to finish. All right. So, one of my Christmas presents from Kate was this Dimensions. God, this is an old one. Half price books. Half price books. For some reason, I was going to say half stitch books. That's not right. That would be nice. So this is Dimensions Gold Nugget. Happy Holidays. So cute. The wreath gives me life. So I'll start that one eventually. And then we've all seen her. We all love... We've all seen her. We all know her. We all love her. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I am. <laughs> this is Fall Fairy from Dimensions Gold. Oh, hey, she has beads too. Wait, is her typo? No. Okay, no. <laughs> Every time I have beads, I just see it. It's like, oh no. So this is Fall Fairy. And then the last one is Aurora Cabin. Now I do have a couple small other just like kits and stuff. Or not kits, I'm sorry. Patterns. Get a what? I'm going to put the cover. I need a new cover. Yes, you do. I'm fully blaming Kate for this one. Coastal Cola. Trying to remember. Where did that come from? I don't know. Because it's definitely not Calvin. It's and not Calvin and Hobbes. It's green. Um, we'll find it eventually. Halloween rules, maybe. Found this little coil of green floss in my lap. Might be from Halloween rules. It kind of looks like a green. Anyway, so, go ahead. I blame Kate for this one because I saw this. I started this last year. No, yeah. earlier this year. It's technically last year. Okay, it's. 2018 it's, was a long year. It right? There was a Olympics this year. Yes, winter. Yeah, think about that. I know. That's how long. That's how long. Like people have forgotten that there was a, a Winter Olympics. Yeah. But so technically, it's last year because tomorrow it's already New Year's in other places of the world. Go ahead. <laughs> My friend Heather from Japan actually sent me a, a little video of her with sparklers going Happy New Year. It's adorable. So this is Coastal Cola from Silver Creek samplers. Fell in love with this when I saw Kate do it last year. I got all of these at Brick City in Ocala. Ocala, thank you. Now these are from Stony Creek. I need the other two seasons because I've fallen in love with them. This is the summer in the village. Oh. Yep. Line up. That looks right. And this is winter in the village. And summer in the village says summer is a lovely time of carefree play and sunny days. And winter in the village says winter's blessing is the gift of quiet reflection. And then of course. We know it. We love it. I need it. Yep. Your celebrations. Got to get that. This one is from my bae. I need that one too. My bestie. I'm not a pumpkin spice fan, but I saw this and I knew it was for her. And then it just fell into my cart and I don't really know what happened. But this is Heartstring Samplery. You had me at pumpkin spice. I am totally not stalking Beth's Etsy account and waiting until she comes back from vacation to not only buy it but request it in pdf format please yes you are i am and for this is fully on katie and kate i have been watching them stitch it and kind of hemming and hawing and finally broke down and got the five seasons of quilts and you know what's funny is the last time i was at brick city i bought that book for another friend ha! i like i think i like christmas the best so Autumn is still my best, despite the fact that I, I literally had to frog the entire fence panel. Too short? No, I... Yeah, I think I did... 
I don't remember what, what counting error I did, but it was off to the point where it was not going to line up. Ugh. Yeah, I literally had to frog the entire fence panel. Nope. So, but okay. still my favorite. So, um, we're an hour and a half in. Oh, yes, I gotta finish. finish. Ow. Stop, stop, stop. You're good. No, I just, I hurt. Ow. Okay, yes. I, I pushed on this. I pushed myself way past my limits on this. And I didn't care because I was getting this done for my hubby for Christmas. And I did it. I think we both finished our time stitch pieces. On the same day? like Within hours of each other. The 23rd of yeah. December. Are you done, guys? <laughs> Almost. Honey. Last, last little bit. And then, um, and he was very happy with it. He, he, he got a, a, he's a ham radio operator. So, uh, he got quite a few ham radio themed gifts this year. And so, thank God he liked it because Garrett and I did not hear the end of this project. Oh my gosh. I was complaining to them nonstop. It's okay. He, I was complaining to y'all too. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I love my husband and you know, I love alphabets and this project. <sighs> but anyway, it's so pretty. Da, da, da. This is the phonetic alphabet, which who's it by? Uh, star kissed Jade on Etsy. All one word. Go check her out. Oh, lovely little dog snoring. Yep. Um, At least I'm not using my whips as a pillow anymore. And I used various DMCs in blues, um, teals, and alpha and uh, Zulu. It's not actually black. It kind of looks black, but it's 939. Which is basically black. Yeah, pretty much. But I okay. wanted them to stand out, so I stitched those. And this is 32 Count Jobelin in Moonstone from Color and Cotton. So, da da da. And Heather, blessed stitcher, has encouraged me to try to frame it myself. I can do it. You can. You so can. Yes, I have foam core and I have pins. I'm going to try to frame it myself. Okay. Or, you know, I won't. Don't worry. I will stop before I ruin it. And yes. then I will take it to Steve if I mm. can stitch niche, if I cannot actually. Okay. Do it. We're done. So, no. Oh, 2019 stitching plan. Right. So while she does that, I'm going to put my Pumpkinville colors in my new bag. What are your 2019 stitching plans? Well, I got to put this in and then I'll talk about mine. So you talk about yours first. Buckle in, people. I don't think YouTube would appreciate it if they saw murder on Lost Tube. Why are we murdering people? I don't know. Okay. Go on. What are your stitching plans? <laughs> thinking oh i also got this because okay it's pretty it is but i have a specific project for this and you bought ribbon for it no not not oh oh the other evil project so how to be a mean mother which i've showcased on my channel and you guys know i'm stitching the how to be a mean mother bit in chronic she doesn't like chronic no especially on 32 count bad chronic bad and i actually found a mistake where instead of doing two over one, both, two. or two over two both times, I somehow went down one and stitched over two. So the whole thing is off. And I'm, I'm talking to Kate, I'm like, I cannot do this with Krennic. It's killing me. Same so, ripper. yes, I got the same ripper. I'm going to rip it out when I get home and I'm going to switch it for Petite Treasure Blade. <laughs> she did this several times at the store. It, I can't. It's not Petite <laughs> Treasure Blade. It's Petite Treasure Blade. That's, that's just the name of it. She did that several times at the store. <sighs> anyway, go. Okay, 2019 stitching plans. So I'm turning 40 in 2019. And she's got a special present already picked out for her for that one. <laughs> and um, I was like, you know what? We're not really doing anything big, you know, personal wise. So I was like, let me do big stitching wise. So I have a few plans. My daily plan. Oh, I so probably should have my notebook. My daily plan is, yeah, please. It's that pink one. My million stitch carnival from Carolyn Manning is and don't go looking for the million stitch carnival from carolyn okay it's actually just called carnival and don't worry it's actually just a little it's a little chart and it's really cool Kate, but i'm adapting it. it okay it's just carnival you Kate, still need it kate queen of started as queen of startifying it yes so i turned it into my project that's going to be a million stitches 
Um, I am going to find your page. Uh, that I'm going to work on every day. It's going to get a minimum of 40 stitches. Okay? But every day of next year. There it is. So, now that's my daily plan. I have a weekly plan. No, I don't. You do. It just hasn't been written down yet. Nope. Okay. <laughs> my monthly plan is... Thank you, Tim, for the suggestion. Tim Johnson. Uh, Timothy, I'm not... I think it goes by Tim. Purple. Yes. Um, he he you know, posted this on his birthday, and I thought it was the neatest thing ever. I did the math. Scary. Uh, by the time I turn 40, I will be on this earth for 14,605 days. And so my goal next year, this year, is 14,605 stitches a month. So I will be counting every single stitch that I put in fabric, paper, plastic. Across our 1,000 plus starts. Yes. Um, so everything, every stitch will count. And that's, that's just my goal for the month, is to put in that many stitches in a month. You still got this. I do. Thank you. Um, I need my, my cheerleader here. Whoop, and whoop. Uh, 40 finishes for the year. That's my annual goal, is I want 40 finishes. Doesn't matter the size. She's helping me with that. Yes! We're going to go whip dive. Okay. She's got it narrowed down to 200, so. Yes. I get and to narrow it down. My, my, my uber large, I'm, I, I am doing a year of starts. Shocking. I know, right? That's not exactly a real plan. Um, now, now, in theory, in theory. Everyone expects you to do a year of starts. You're a queen. Of you're, course. You're a queen. Of, of course. Now, in theory, like I said, I'm going with the semi-sane stitchers rules of, where you can count individual blocks on your annual stitch alongs. So my my jungle cell from Rainforest I just showed you that has 12 blocks on it. That's 12 starts. So Woodland Sampler, I have the frames done on that. That's 12. So she has the frame here done. And yeah. once she actually starts stitching it, that counts as a start. So right. she's got one, two. I think I have four done yeah, she's on got there. Four done. Um, but I have all 12 on Woodland Sampler. So those will count as starts. So they won't all be new, 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 new starts. Um, but obviously there will be new, new starts. Uh, uh, duh. Yeah, I know. What is your 40th birthday present start? It's from Solvum Probler, which yes. I, I totally introduced her to. It's something along the lines of past the age of, uh, never mess with a woman past the age of 40 because she is sick and tired of everyone's shit. So she, I'm buying her that on her 40th birthday, sending it to her, and she has to start it then. I'm kind of already at that stage. But, you know. Yeah, but my... It my pattern yet. That's true. But my my uber large plan for the year is... Y'all know I have over a thousand whips. I don't know how many, because I stopped counting. Gird your loins, clutch your pearls, hold on to your seats, go ahead and just drop your jaws now. Go. <laughs> I am going to work. My goal is by the end of the year to have touched every single whip and put 15 to 30 minutes in each one for the year. So, hold on, hold on. All right, y'all can breathe now. Just just go ahead. So, I go. said I have over a thousand. So, by the time I'm done, I will actually have an actual count. Yes, because we are adding them all into X Stitch. She went right. there and deleted everything she had in X Stitch, and we are going to go through today and begin. Putting them all back in. So I have papers, I have planners, I have everything notes everywhere, you know, so I can keep track of each one. So full coverage, um, which I probably have, I would say at least a hundred of those. Started. At least I know. I well, I know I had thirty-seven Hades before the twelve days of Hade. So, but maybe up to forty-nine now. Right, exactly. By the time I'm done, um, but. Uh, Tilton, Artisy, mm -hmm. Shiny Suns, Charting Creations. Um, I know I'm forgetting something. Tilton, Pain Free. Pain Free. There you go. Thank you. Pain Free Crafts. Yep, I've got a couple of those. Uh, anyway, full coverage will get 30 minutes simply because 15 minutes, it's very difficult to see the before and after on. Um, but everything else that's not full coverage will get 15 minutes. So yeah, every whip needs to be touched once. As far as new starts, they will become whips the following month. 
So anything I start in January will not count. I, I, you know, I will not be working on it for the 15 to 30 minutes until February. So anything new I start gets bumped a month. Except obviously December. Yeah, that's gonna count. That's gonna have to be rearranged because of it's December. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Those are my plans for 2019. All right. What are your plans? 2019, full coverage 2019. I've discussed this on my page or on my, yeah, my channel. So my focus, we're already out the window on this one. So my plan was to work on Treasure Hunt Bookshelf every single day of 2019. I don't get. Are you in your room, darling? Child of mine. Uh-oh. Alex. Hey, silence is never good. No. Alex. She's on the floor in front of the bathroom. She's playing with her toothbrush and toothpaste. She has her earmuffs on. Okay. Not her real toothbrush and toothpaste. Her doll's toothbrush and toothpaste. She's playing with on the floor. Because she's a floor child. She likes to play on the floor. And Shannon loves the fact that she likes to wear her earmuffs here in the house. Yep. So, my, my original plans are already out the window. Because I was planning on working on Treasure Hunt Bookshelf every single day of 2019. Well, I don't get back to my barracks room until January 2nd. And I left Treasure Hunt Bookshelf in my barracks room. <laughs> So, apparently the year for me starts on January 2nd at about 8 p.m. Because that's when I'll be getting back. So, in lieu of that, because Treasure Hunt Bookshelf has a lot of colors, a lot of pretty things, kind of reminds me of Ember Ray Red Dead Bella Castle, I'll be working on that on the 1st. Cool. Okay. So, now we've just added Sal's, so that should be fun to figure out. Yeah. But, we also know Once Upon a Time Sampler. No, I'm sorry. It's called Happily Ever After. Fabulous... The noise you hear is the dog trying to chew her butt. His butt. S'mores. S'mores, honey. Smush, 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 smush. Yep, please stop. Me too. Okay. Happily Ever After, Zodiac, Among the Stars, Fabulous Women in History are the three sows from previous years I have. Now I have Pumpkinville. And I'm aiming for 19 finishes. You got it. You got 40, I got 19. So, the plan is... I'm going to work on each sampler until that month is done. So January, I've already finished a block for January on Happily Ever After. So I've got to jump start on that. So Zodiac Through the Stars, Fabulous Women, which I'm almost done with Fabulous Women. I just have to do Coco Chanel. Those two will be worked on until a block is done. So that will complete January. And then I'll do Pumpkinville when it's released for January and then those will all be put away until February and I'll do a block so on and so forth until the end of the year so that'll give me four finishes. Treasure Hunt Bookshelf will be my focus. I don't know if I'll get it done in a year but I'm gonna try like hell. But we also know that if I only work on two projects a day I will lose my mind. So Kate Garrett and I will be doing Mirabilia Mondays. Every Monday we're going to work on Mirabilia. Kate and I are taking different points on this. I will be working on Miss Christmas Eve until she is done. Kate, how are you doing it? I put, um, I dug through all my files and found out that I have 15 Mirabilia's slash Nora Corbett started. So I put all of them on, um, what's the app called? Super Roulette. Super Roulette app. I made a wheel. And so every Monday it will just be click, rotate. Oh, that's the one we're going to work on today. And then we'll work on her for half hour, probably. Yeah. And then Perfect. next Monday, it could be a different Mirabilia. Who goes there in the kitchen, animal or person? I want to go with small child, who's not talking to us at the moment. Alex! What are you getting into? Good day. I will say goodbye for now. <laughs> and it was lots of fun. So, the other... I'll see you tomorrow, actually. Yes. So, I'm going to wrap this up. She's going to wrap up. I'm going to go see what the child's getting into. The other plans, because I can't work on just two projects a day, 